Yo, what's going on guys? Ezum here and today we'll be going over some stuff today. Don't be scared, be smart, and if you have the shot, take it. But before I get started, make sure you hit that like button and sub. Now there comes a time and a place where if you have the shot and you can eliminate someone a million times over, take it. Of course you'll be giving away position if you do shoot, but what's to say that person you want to eliminate or potentially want to eliminate, or you're just looking at them through your sights, what if they kill you later? Well, you'd be like, well, I should have killed, took the shot earlier. Exactly. Not to mention there is a difference between being scared straight and strategically bunkering down in a building or something, holding a position and waiting for the circle. And this is potentially why you could be losing in PUBG. Now I have a game here that shows a prime example of what I'm talking about. And I also have another game that I want to show. It's in Vikendi, but it, it shows um, people just, you know, sitting around and I don't want to tell people how to play. I don't, you know, it's a game you play how you want. But if you want to listen, if you want to win, if you want to survive, listen, right? <laughs> Just take take my stuff into account and be like, oh, Ezum said this and that. And if it works in your game, we'll do it. So right now, uh, we're going on 16 people, 15 people alive. And I've just taken out a couple people, maybe a few people, I don't know. Uh, but what really set me off in this game in terms of like, what are you doing? You know, um, was this guy right here. This guy right here specifically does what I say that can harm you in, in terms of uh, like eliminate someone and they can turn around. If you don't eliminate them, they can turn around and eliminate you instead or stalking. Yes, the stalking uh, part in the game. Now you say, oh, he's, a, he's got the crate weapon and he, he looks really cool. Yeah, sure. Exactly. He's got a P90. That's scary, right? Uh, and... Again, it's all about surviving, and you, you also you're also going to be like, well, use him. He's just trying to survive, so he's up there surviving. Exactly, he is surviving, but at the same time, he's also not eliminating <laughs> um, potential targets. Right now, I've always said if I have a good position and I, if I see someone that I need to take out, I'm going to do it. So we see this guy countlessly target or like aim at me. Right, he already took one shot at me. It was okay, cool. Um, and the thing is, is he just keeps looking at me. Now, this is how I position it. You'll see how I position myself. I position myself perfectly within the trees, uh, to where my line of sight is kind of disruptive of his line of sight of me. Um, which in so some cases he can take the shot where, where I become like kind of stopping, but this is why I never stop moving, right? And he can get a lucky shot off, right, at the, at the moment. Um, especially if I'm running toward him, like, just straight. He could easily take the shot, hit me in the head, and I'll be, you know, dead. Because right now I'm not at full HP. Or I could be almost dead, depending. Now, I'm perfectly in between these trees. Which, you know, again, it's like, uh, well, hey, that's why he's probably not taking the shot. But he could have taken the shot right here, right? He could have taken a shot right there. Uh, but he sees another guy coming up. So he's, he's going to take him out maybe we'll see there is a crate down there so this guy's probably just gonna go after the crate but now i think he's just listening to audio the audio cue and then he waits for the guy to, it's, this is a smart move wait for the guy to go and loot the crate and then hit him in the head right but he misses <laughs> you know this this guy right here is the one who who actually eliminated me in this game and he missed like it baffles me every time I see this because he missed a standing still headshot. <laughs> he had easy headshot and he missed. He backs up after getting shot and then he prones out uh, right here in this rock. So this is where he gets interesting in this specific game. Like he'll, he'll, he'll bunker down right here. And it's like, I feel like he's playing scared, but he, you know, he could be playing, uh, he could be playing, you know, safe, right? Um, like most people who prone out are either playing it safe or playing it scared. You never know. So, and this is, this is how like smart wise. I mean, you could do this, uh, if people aren't at a distance, if people are, like I said, uh, before if people are at a distance, like this guy, this guy right here, if he was looking this way, he'd see him, he'd, he would see him without the foliage. So it's not always a smart thing to do proning out. Um, especially behind a rock where you can easily be seen, uh, cause it's like inconsistency with the foliage, the, in the terrain, like, Oh, you don't belong there. <laughs> so 
uh, I don't I don't necessarily tell the guy anyone to play like this. I just go over what you potentially can do in the, in certain scenarios, and in this case, he proned out. So let's go ahead and continue this game. So this guy right here ended up just sitting there doing nothing the entire time too. He's just like this guy. I I honestly don't understand what they're doing. They, they in my honest opinion, they are playing scared. They they are playing scared. They don't want to die. And, and listen, it, it's you're gonna be like, oh, Ezo, it's about survivability and all this stuff. I know, but when you sit there and prone out and you wait and wait and wait, you don't know your surroundings anymore. So you have to recoup your surroundings, and then you have to just find out where people are. Because if you can't hear shots for a long time and you're not out there looking 360 around you, then you're gonna lose sight and target of everyone, and you could potentially someone could easily just pop up out of nowhere and potentially die and kill you because you just decided to prone out or wait here and everyone else just moved around to the point where you don't know where anyone else is anymore. Like you saw him, uh, point at me earlier. Well, he doesn't know where I'm at anymore. So now they're starting to move. And, but dude, I swear if I did this, if I did, if I proned out right here, if I was uh, right like this next to a rock, I'd instantly get head tapped. There's, there's no question about it. <laughs> that is just my luck. Now, what I, what I mean by uh, there's, there is a time and a place where you can actually set and wait for the circle. Um, and this, like, uh, let's see. Let me go back. Now, you see uh, right here is where someone threw gr grenades at me. And it was uh, this guy. And I've seen FPS Tuna in most of my games. Uh, he's, he's actually a decent player. But some uh, right now he's just listening for audio cues and waiting for the circle. Um, but sometimes I do feel like he kind of does play a little bit scared. Uh, right now he could easily have taken me out right there, but he decided just to uh, double back. He he stood there for a while waiting for the circle, waiting to listen for me. But I think that was valid. Like he saw me and he threw grenades at me, and then he just didn't know where I went after that. So he was. He was strategically waiting or and listening um, for an audio cue. But at the same time, I didn't know he was there. However, in, in that uh, specific um, scenario, I assumed he went this way and up because the grenades came from this p position and then went this way right at me. So I assumed he just went up the hill and went this way. And I was right. And that's how I play, okay? Okay, so, 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 how many so counts is there already? Okay, now, uh, now you see where my dilemma is here. Or, or <laughs> now I'm, I'm in the mix here, okay? I'm in the mix. And the thing is, I hear, I hear someone, or I did hear someone, uh, right here, but no one went this way. I, for some reason, I heard this guy all the way over here, I think. And uh, that's why I was like, mm, I'm not going to risk it, but I'm going to peek. I peeked over a little bit. And <laughs> we surprisingly enough, this guy, they, yeah, every, dude, look at this. Proned out. Proned out. Wait, are you proned out too, bro? No, nah, he, he's actually moving to the circle. But I don't, what is he doing? I'm hoping he goes back up there because there's unless he swims away, I don't even know if he can make that. But yes, like I said, uh, I've seen this guy play before, but he always, he plays the same. He always waits, just like this guy. Now, watch this. I'm gonna go back. Now you see him. He hears me, and then he sees me, right? For th for like the third or fourth time in this game, he's actually he actually. Uh, you know, saw me, pointed at me with the weapon, and he could have taken me out so many times over, right? Now, if I turned around, I didn't hear him at all right here. He was actually just stalk stalking me. He was 150% stalking me. And, I mean, that's fine. You know, if you, see a, if you see someone, that's fine. But at the same time, for some reason, this works out for him. Uh, this, this works out for him because everyone else... It's uh, right over here, and then you have these people right here, which they don't at all see. They don't see see us because of the trees and the tree line, which 
it's most of my complaints about Sandhawk. Like, if there are less trees, like, right here. I'm not saying they should do it. I'm just saying, like, if in a different world, if there were less trees right here, he would be he would have been seen. I would have been seen. And then it would have been uh, kind of RNG based on the decision making of who dies first. He keeps stalking me. He knows where I'm at. Like, if someone is this close to you and you know where they're at and you can get the jump off of them, do it. Take the shot. FPS tuna over there. See, all right. Now, this again. He could easily tap me right here with the weapon, right? And then switch to his P90 and finish me off. Or throw a grenade at the tree if he has any. But he, he doesn't he doesn't do any of that, okay? Instead, he waits until I get all the way up here. He still doesn't take the shot. He still does not take the shot. I know where he's at. I saw him. But I I, I took the decision in my own, own hands to just prone out right here because of the foliage. Right? And this is where he's pointing right now. So I took the decision upon myself and it's a split second decision because I, I mean, I knew where he was, but I couldn't see him. And for some reason, he, he took a, he took some, some shots and I've watched this 14 million times over and I still don't see how he saw me to this day. Right. I just, it, this right here baffles me how he saw me, because if you look, you can't see anything. You can't see my body. You can't. So I'm, I, I don't know if it's just a random spray, but besides the point, my point is on, on this particular game is we were, th they were all back here in this, uh, in this area all together, all proned out and scared to fight, scared to move. And that, that's just not the way that I would play. And that's not the way I would advise people to play unless it's absolutely necessary. Or if the circle, I'd say if the circle is like 30, 20, 15 seconds away from moving or showing you where the next circle is. And yeah, sure. You know, do your thing, heal up, boost up. But if, if you're like this and you just spot someone, hear someone and you have the jump on them, there's that, there's no reason to not go after them. There, there's not absolutely not. And I'm just, it's just crazy to me how all, all of us right here was all together and we just didn't see anyone. That is the PUBG right there. Now I'm going to give you another example. I couldn't find the other example that I had, but I did find this one that I, that actually went through yesterday and uh, we got, we got Eskimo TG here, right? I got done looting up. So now I'm looking for him because I know he's in the compound and he landed with me. So right now I am looking for him and I know that he's probably uh around here somewhere i don't i don't exactly know he's there until i get closer all right so i'm gonna go ahead and play this and then we're gonna watch okay game so i can hear myself now and i know he can hear me as soon as he hears me as soon as he hears me he goes in it goes into this mode right and uh, I, I, I hear him and I, so i threw a, a molotov because molotovs now go really far and I didn't know this at the time, but I, <laughs> I smoked him up a lot. <laughs> I smoked him up a lot. So now he's going to heal while I try and figure out what he's, he's going to do next. I figured, um, I, since I didn't know the Molotov actually hit him or, well, it didn't hit him. He just ran into the fire. <laughs> okay. Um, but I'm just trying to get different positioning because I figured he would be peeking the, the windows and trying, you know, trying to get to know where I'm at and everything, but I guess he thinks I'm inside. So now he's just going to watch the stairs. I mean, fine. You, you know, it's good stuff. You know, nothing, nothing wrong with this right now. Right? Nothing wrong with it. He gets a helmet. That's fine. But he doesn't actually just try and go after me. And honestly, it looks like a bot playing, right? <laughs> it, it, it looks like a bot playing, but it's not. All right, so I try I try to go for that wide swing here to see if he uh, he's going to jump out or anything and try to get a different position. Because I assume people do that. I assume people are, are better players than what they come out and made out to be, right? And now he, he peeks the, this window after I'm on the other side. And he, he keeps looking, he keeps looking. Okay, good. You know, 
absolutely nothing wrong. And for some reason, he stands up there and looks. I guess it... I don't know what that really would do. And then he waits. All right. And I knew he was just saying, I, you know, uh, I'm not going to push a building where someone is just going to sit and wait up top because there's, you can, I could outshoot him. Yeah. Maybe if I don't miss my shots, but I'm not going to take that chance. All right. So, I mean, I'm looking around, I'm trying to see if he's going to jump out and this goes on for a bit. Uh, I should have just left it alone. Uh, I was actually going to leave. I was going to leave this alone because I'm not, like I said, I'm not going to push a building or something. If I had a BZ grenade, sure. But we have this guy right here. He pops up here and I'm assuming he thinks he knows people are in the compound. So he overlooks it. He's got some good loot. He's looting up. He's got some big balls too. Uh, we have Eskimo in there. We have me over here. I'm on top of the building. I don't I think he's just he just got the position to have the position, but then he spots me. Which right now I'm rocking the three a uh, three times with an uh <laughs> not a good gun, all right? Well, I, I think I have an M4 with a uh, three times on it. So I'm not doing bet the good in terms of anything. So he goes down here and he pushes. Now Eskimo knows we're fighting. He knows we're fighting. But he still per persists. He has a good gun, too. He doesn't take the shot. He sees him. I mean, he can't really take the shot other uh, other than, you know, telling someone else he's there. But that's fine. And now he just... He thinks people are coming up the to his, his floor. All right, so I see this guy. I take some shots at him. Now, he can... The Eskimo can come down here to this window and take me out. He persists now that moment in time where he actually did peek it I was already down because I got shot by other dude now if I had not gotten down and uh, by getting shot I, I wouldn't have uh, he probably would have killed me so that honestly good timing by me and you know it's like ease him what is he doing wrong well the thing is is if you're playing this scared yeah, you're still moving around, but you're still playing scared. You you see other you see two other people fighting, right? You see two other people fighting, or you hear two other people fighting. He needs what he needs to do is at least come out of this door. I wouldn't hear it. I probably wouldn't have heard this door, or come out of the door on the far side, and then come around here, come right here to this uh, right here, or he can come at the edge of this building, like open the door, come around here, see me, take me out, come around here and then try. Well, he'll probably go for the loot, but you can at least try and find the other, the other guy, but he just sets in this building and just waits like he's moving around. Yeah, but he's still sitting in there waiting. Now, this is the only time that I would say that you should a hundred percent listen for audio cues. As if someone someone is pushing you, you don't know where they're at, right? I'm looking both ways, making sure I'm not getting pushed. Now, I'm sitting and listening. I don't hear anything for a while until I start hearing him right here. So that's when I move up. That's when I take action and I move up and I see him. I shoot him. Right? Now, this is the time. Right here is the time where he needs to get out of this building and he needs to flank uh, but I got the guy dude this guy had big balls he came in here with the mission but he got dominated okay um so yeah before we before one of us were got eliminated or at the same time one of us got eliminated he should have moved out he should have moved out and he should have a hundred percent moved in on the fight and got the guy who was low at the end but instead, he just threw a grenade for what at a building. I think that yeah, the grenade went right here. I think didn't, it? or went on the side here. One of the two, and he's still, he's still up there, still in the building. All right. So let's uh, let's move let's move, move a little bit forward, and as you see, he's still still in the building. A m minutes later, still in the building. Minutes later, still in the building. So what I do 
is uh I'm uh I'm gonna move out wide enough. All right, so now he's out, right? But I'm already gone, and he is absolutely scared and terrified. And uh, he doesn't spot me. Doesn't spot me at all. And see, this is why I move. Like this is why I give up, move, and then go do uh, other things. Cause he could have, he could have easily came out of there if I was still. I mean, if I was watching, I would have seen him come out. But um, I'm, I, I, I do different priorities here. I take the vehicle, right, and then I go up here. So now, I have the advantage of the entire compound to wait for this guy to come out. And yes, I'm gonna be petty like that. If I'm in the, if we're in a circle, I'm gonna be petty like that. You are going to die, in the game. All right, so <laughs> I don't. I think he's still in the building, but I don't know. He's right there looting. So I'm gonna I'm gonna skip a little bit further. Yep, he's still moving. Really scared. And I I just don't think there's any strategy in what he's doing. So I see him right now, and then I take shots. And I don't, dude. I have. He has no health. He has one HP. Wow. So this is where I said I'm gonna make you. Uh, I'm gonna make you my child. I'm gonna your, be your daddy. I think I make some kind of remark like that. So I go around and get the position off, and I don't know. Okay, so if you watch him, I don't know what exactly he's doing. He, like I said, he has a really good gun. He could easily one tap me in the head and I'd be dead. But he he backs up. I don't understand what he's doing. And he backs up to where I could see him. Per clear as day. Now, he can't peek the side here because I, I got that covered. But he, he keeps backing up, backing up, backing up to the point where I can see him and take him out. And then he dies. Now, this, this is prime example of playing scared and then dying in the end. If someone knows that you're playing scared and you just bunker down in a building, they could ease, they could push the building, yeah. But I want to be a little bit smarter about it. I'm going to wait for you to come out because I know you're going to have to come out eventually and I'm going to take uh, advantage of that. I know you're in the compound. I'm taking advantage of it and that's exactly what I did. I played it pretty smart uh, other than the guy that came, came in here balls deep and got shit on. Uh, he has a really good loot too. So he looted up and he was on a mission. Sitting and playing scared, not always the best choice. Sitting in the building, waiting for the circle, waiting for audio cues. If you know someone's in your compound or if you just wait for the circle to come up, uh, to come up on you. Um, it, 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 listen, if you're, I'm going to bring up esports. I'm going to bring up competitive. If you're in competitive, sure. Just stay, you know, stay in the building, prone out in the building, wait for audio cues and try to get position right but this this is casual like i said you can play the game however you want but if you want to survive if you want to win don't play scared if you have the shot take it otherwise you're going to die in the end or you can, yeah you can get you can win in the end sure if if the universe and the skies align with the moon and the eclipse sure you can you can take you can easily get the win but i'm telling you don't play like that play smarter but yeah, guys, I hope you enjoy. Uh, this was a pretty cool video that I uh, actually thoroughly enjoy doing. And I will most definitely see you in the next one. But before we end, make sure you hit that like button and sub. And I'll see you on the next tip video.